What's eating you? Psychology Eat is here to help you. What's eating you? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? Well, as you can see from the thumbnail, today I am talking with Tiger Woods. Now, Tiger is in here in the flesh because he is still hospitalized. So he is here on the green screen. So I brought Tiger in. Actually, I was called to talk with Tiger um, because they want to set up a treatment plan for him as soon as he is able um, and, and willing to uh, participate in, in his treatment. So what had happened was um, Tiger was in a near fatal car accident. According to the news, he was the only one in the car. He was driving at a high speed in an unfamiliar area. He wasn't familiar with the road he was driving on, lost control of the car, and had an accident. He is badly injured, I believe sedated at this point, but he's, he's, he's listening. He may not move, but he's listening. He can listen. So, all prayers are needed for him. Tiger is probably the most famous golfer in the world. And he is one of the number one golfers. He's probably number one golfer in the world. And so he means a lot to the world of golfing. He means a lot to people who are brown like him, that see him in an industry or working in a sport that usually was not for people of color. So he's very important, not only to us and in, in, um, his fans, but to his family. He is the father of two children. So, I want to look a little bit back on his history. And this is the reason why I'm recommending what type of treatment I'm recommending for Tiger. About 10 years ago when he was married, he um, admitted to being a sex addict. And... I think we left off with maybe 300, 300 women who claimed they had a quick sexual encounter with Tiger. He admitted that he was definitely a sex addict. He didn't care who these women were. He didn't have a particular type. Well, he had a particular type, but it within that type he would, it was anybody from the subway cashier all the way to a uh, million, a, a woman who was worth a million dollars. The man did not care, which, which leads me to believe that he really did have a real sex addiction. He also admitted that he had an issue with opiates. Tiger has been through a lot of surgeries. Golf really did a lot to his body, his ankles, his back. And so over the years trying to treat his injuries, um, I believe it was reported that he became addicted to opiates. Also, he had an addiction to Ambien. Ambien is a medication used as a sleep aid. And he was popping Ambien's. And I believe, you know, during the course of his sex addiction and the news media finding out what was going on and these women reporting all this stuff, his life just imploded. It was just 
so much. His wife left him. She moved back to England. It was just a, a lot was going on. I believe his dad died somewhere in between there. So he's been through a lot. So right now he is getting treatment and hopefully, you know, he's a healthy man. He's going to bounce back medically, you know, through rehab and he'll get better. But I'm here to talk about the psychology of it all. So what is my recommendation? I am recommending that as soon as he is able to travel, that he boards a plane and is immediately sent, sent to Honduras. I am sending him to Honduras and I want him to work with um, the leadership that follows Dr. Sebi's um, herbal medications. I don't want him on any opiates. I want him on all natural medication. I know Dr. Sabi has passed on, but his work continues. And that's where I want him to go. I want him in Honduras. I want you there for a year. I think a year is enough time to cleanse your mind, body, and soul. During that time, I am recommending that you only have male staff. I don't want any women around you. I don't want any women around you. Because I believe you still, you still are dealing with that sex addiction. I don't want that to be, I don't want your sex addiction to interrupt your healing. So for one year, you won't see any women. There will be no women. I will allow your children to visit they can visit, I'm going to say, once a month as you're moving through this treatment. And that's it. I'm not going to hold you long because I know you don't feel good. But that's it. That's all. As soon as you're able to travel, one-way ticket to Honduras where you will receive the best naturalistic medication and treatment that is available to you. That's all I got for um, Tiger. I wish him well. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the um, comment section, who do you want me to diagnose next? Thank you.